Hello friends, welcome to my channel Backpay Media. This is Follow Me. And in today's tutorial, we are going to see how to edit a happy birthday video using Canva. And step by step, I'll show you from creating to how to download and uh, share it in cross platform. So we are at Canva home screen. And here in the search bar, we will have to type YouTube video. Okay. So in search bar, if you type YouTube video, you'll get many templates, ready to use templates. You can use any of these and just change a little bit. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to use a, a clean template and uh, we will start from the scratch. So I'm on my first slide, which I'll be using as, a, as an introductory slide or intro. So in element, we will have to type for a nice background. So I'm taking a floral, um, dynamic background so let me check which one is suitable this one i like so once it is taken then i'll have to right click and select this as background and then as because this is 30 seconds long i'm not going to keep it for so long so i can also make it a little bit transparent by clicking on this uh, slide and then going to this transparency and I can reduce this in transparency and then I can give other elements but for this reason for this particular video I'm not going to do that I'm, not, I'm going to keep transparency as 100 and then I'm going to drag the size in part like this to reduce the timing you see the timing should be within five to eight seconds for the introductory slide so you can drag and do it and next we will be bringing some text effects so let us go to text option and there are many free effects and many are pro effects so from text directly from fourth option we can select any of these texts i have created a video on how to get use canva pro for free uh, that video will be getting in the top right hand side corner uh, of this video so make sure after watching this video you go and watch that video and get Canva Pro for free by using Team Link. Now I am just grouping it once again after changing, drag this and group it together. And this is how you can create, easily create an amazing text effect. Now you can drag and make it smaller or bigger. Now let us go to elements once again. I'm going to bring one frame and inside it, I'll be giving one image here. So first is I'll go to elements and I'll type frame. And here there are many different types of frame. You can choose any one uh, as per your need. But for, for sake of this video, I'm taking this diamond uh, frame and I'm going to take one picture. It should be your own picture, but I'm taking it as an example. And then double click and situate the picture in such a way so that the best part is visible through the frame. Right? And then you can drag and position it in this way. Then select the text, make this text come front. So you select it, go to these three dots, position, and then forward so that your text overlaps, comes in the front layer, and the picture and frame goes to the second layer. Once I'm done, now this is time to add some quick animation into it. There are two types of animation. If I select the text and go to this animation button, it will automatically go to text animation. Here I can give bounce or pan or any animation you feel like uh, so there are many free and pro animations you can try it out and then i will go to this element and i will select a pan or rise animation like this now let us add another slide by clicking on this plus button and go to elements either you go to elements and get a grid first first get a grid here I'll show you one thing. Why am I asking to get a grid first? You can upload any of your videos in the second slide uh, from this um, upload media option. Now I'm going to show you one magic. All the videos comes uh, comes under come under a uh, video option. So I'm going to take one video like this. Now you see when we shoot in hurry, most of the time we use the camera in nine is to sixteen ratio, right? But if I 
and the video comes in this way how you are seeing in the screen now do you have any idea how to make this stretched and you know cover this 60 uh, 16 is to 9 uh, frame not possible right so therefore we will go for a grid if I take a grid, then you will see the magic happening. It will automatically occupy, no matter what ratio you have uh, taken the clip in, it will automatically occupy the entire grid. So I'll go to elements and type grid and many different grids in collage uh, style or uh, single grid will come. So if I take it or by default, it will occupy the entire screen, entire template, right? And if I want to resize it, I can simply drag it from the corner like this right so for the sake of this video i'm keeping it full and i'm going to take the same video which i just now used and you will see it will get kind of sucked inside and then i can double click and drag it downwards in order to give the best part in between the video so that it gets seen so now you can go for uh, some collage also if you want uh, if you want to give many video clips in one slide because to make it a reel or to accommodate it within 59 seconds you should be going for a collage kind of a style right so therefore you can take any uh, style from grid from uh, grid collage from this part so let us take a grid collage here and let us take a couple of videos and uh, one picture image static image so that we can see how to modify those as well now once you select same way you'll have to double click and drag and make the best uh, scene makes best part of the clip visible through the uh, frame so i have taken a beautiful clips here and all these clips you can also take your image so all these clips uh, Cumulatively, it's coming around 17 uh, seconds or 14 seconds like that. Now, as I have taken one static image, this will not be counted in this timer option, right? So, let me just go ahead and change, uh, make the changes. Let us see what more adjustments we can do in the video. So, let us do the color correction. As of now, Canva provides color correction option for the static image. So, we will select the static image. It's, if it is a video, then it will be having different option like animation and flip, crop. Okay. So, we will see it one by one. First, let us work with the static image and do color correction. So, I'll select the image. I'll go to edit image and then I will go to adjustment. Here I have different parameters to adjust as per my need I can adjust I can make it little brighter and I can make the contrast little more saturation little more and you can take the dominant tone of any uh, image and then you can change the tint part as well like in this uh, image I feel yellow and orange is dominating so I can drag the tint scroller towards yellow section so that uh, the entire v entire picture gets that tone and likewise you can change you can give warmth and everything as per your requirement so once we are done with it once we are done with this fine tuning of our color, color correction then we will uh, see at the bottom of this adjustment column there is some code appearing so you should be taking and keeping that code select uh, saved somewhere so that in case at times due to some bugs or um, some reason this effects goes off right so in that case you will just have to copy and paste the same code in the adjustment section here to get back those all those parameters whatever you selected and this remains handy for, for your future use as well if you have created an amazing uh, add, uh, color correction for one image and if you want to standardize it for your rest of the future images as well it becomes very easy the task becomes very easy you simply have to select the image copy the code and paste it here and rest of the part will be taken care of right so this is how you can do it let's move forward to the next it is um, the space option this basically indicates the space in between the grids and the frames so if i increase it the grid will be more and the frames will become shorter 
this is flip you can horizontally flip it vertical flip is also possible so we can horizontally flip this picture now you see as i told you as soon as i made some changes in canva canva gives canva has some unfortunate bugs okay see all those tones all those color corrections are gone from this from this image that's the reason i was telling you as because i don't have that copy that uh, code copy and paste it i'll have to do everything again and that does not assure that the effect will be um, as good as the previous one so that's the reason i'm telling you always don't do this mistake whenever you do any adjustment just create uh, just uh, copy this code and paste it somewhere to avoid such an uh, such inconvenience right now move forward let us make the adjustment on the timer part here you can uh, go to this timer part for any video you get this timer caesar option where you can basically crop the video the you know split the video or make it short and choose any certain part of the video it is basically acting as a compressor because if you are having one a video which is too long maybe 3 to 5 minutes long but you cannot really accumulate so long videos in one reel so in that case this part becomes very handy when you can actually cut the main part of the clip and you still can keep the part of the clip in your collage or in your reel right and this section shows you the accumulated the the overall timing of the entire uh, video right now let us add some transition if i go downwards between two slides there is there are two options one is or add page the bottom one is add transition if we go to uh, this transition part there are different types of transition and you can choose and then further you can change the intensity of those transitions so you can go for circle fade you can go for line wipe so whatever is suitable for you you can mix and match and keep using this uh different beautiful transitions in between two slides right so and if uh, in between uh, even in inside one particular style there are different options like for circle wipe you can take in or out whichever you want now i have added another static picture and i will show you another way of making a transition now you see i will add another page and here i will change the duration to 0.3 or 0.5 seconds now i will go to templates option to get one intro video uh, youtube intro video and from here i'll be choosing one colorful one which would be suitable or going well with this um, particular type of video which i am editing and i'll do a little bit of edit and then we will again crop the video in between as i told you for 3 to 5 seconds so that it acts as a transition in between two slides so i'm just keeping this middle part and i am going to use it as a transition right so you can even make it little more 8 seconds if you feel uh, it depends on the video you have chosen right the introductory video which you have chosen right now it is time to add some beautiful audio into it so there are three ways where you can get audio one is in element you can type a keyword happy or piano or whatever you want instrumental then go to audio section and get all these pro and free different types of audios out here and here again further you can get many suggested keywords which you can use in order to get more intrinsic and specific type of audios right this is one way to get audio so you will have to just drag and drop the audio here wherever your cursor will remain the audio will start from there next is audio option itself from bottom third option or fourth option it comes usually these gives categorically different types of uh, audios which you can choose from here pop happy instrumental and whatever is required and you can also give keywords in order to make further filter so uh you can choose even with the word happy birthday or only birthday or child in child music or audio like that okay now once you are satisfied uh with the audio here then you don't uh, have to go for the next option but those who want to give their own video you can go to media bin and you can take your own audio in order to avoid any copyright claim later and then it these will uh, appear in audio section and you can also record your 
own audio by the third option. Now I will just drag and drop with uh, the help of cursor. I will just drag it from the beginning. You can add two or three audio tracks here. That's the benefit of Canva. You can keep adding different types of audio, audio track and adjust the timing. And the audios, as soon as you will add audio, audio will automatically follow the beats. In between every transition, there will be one audio beat as well. Now, if you keep the audio track selected, you get some adjustments option. First adjustment is audio effect. You can go to audio effects and you can give a fade in and fade out effect here. So that audio does not start suddenly. It give, it starts with a uh, with a fade in. Next, we will go to adjustment where we can click on the audio track and click the adjustment and we can choose from the entire audio track which part we want to take or play, right? So we can choose accordingly. So this is one of the best options uh, about this Canva, which is always not available for other software, but I feel. And then I will move forward to the next adjustment, volume. If I come here, I can reduce or increase the volume of the track. If you are having some uh, voice over here, then you will have to keep the volume volume quite low around 10 to 20% only. So this comes really handy out here. Next is duplicate. If your uh, audio track is not covering the entire video track, then you can simply do all the adjustment and then uh, duplicate it and then drag it to the next part and till the end of the video, right? So you don't have to really again go for the entire uh, new set of audios for covering the entire video tenure like every audio is having a tenure 51 seconds three minutes so depending on that you'll have to do this duplication right and then further if you don't want one audio you simply select and delete it now let us go to share and scheduling we go to the share option then it should be on mp4 download option you will get mp4 format that should be the form ideal format next is social media uh sharing you can choose any social media if you are having pro account you can basically schedule it from here for future date and time right and this is the second option now let us see how to do cross platform posting so if i have made this 16 is to 9 ratio video then i can go to this resize option which is again a pro feature i can make the changes as per my need in pixel inch millimeter and centimeter these uh, parameters are here and then I can change the width and height on my own or by clicking on this different type of inbuilt ratios of Facebook, Instagram, uh, WhatsApp status, I can simply make copies and then I can simply post it together. So that was pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Please make sure you watch my Pro um, Canva Pro free for lifetime video in the playlist and don't forget to join my whatsapp group and facebook group links we are given in the description and backpay media's app is available in google play at this moment so please do download that and we'll be updating you whenever new courses are coming thank you so much we'll see you in my next video